I went to school in Charleston and then I went to school in at the University of New Hampshire for a while and then I came back here and went to school at Grossmont College with and studied with Les Lawrence there and then went to San Diego State and studied with Joanne Hayakawa and Richard Burkett to get my MFA. These paintings are this series of paintings that I'm working on right now are called Meditations. And it's a very meditative process for me in the way that I do it and the way that it comes about. For me, I think, is about finding a quiet place within wow. myself where I can contemplate whatever's going on in my life at any given time. These paintings are a way for me to find that center. It's a very intense, getting these really crisp lines and mixing the colors and everything is a very intense focusing aspect of painting. I think it's a very meditative space for me when I am painting. It allows my mind to wander while I'm working. It's almost like two levels are going on at the same time while I'm doing the painting. I've done the painting often enough that it's pretty continuous and nor a natural thing now. I've learned how to do this process well enough that I can work and my mind is working on other things at the same time while I'm doing this. I think the, the center is what I'm trying to reach and I think that's why I've done these in a... I was looking at mandalas when I started doing these pieces and that's basically a meditative form. The art of making mandalas is a personal introspection in a visual way and that's what I was trying to do when I started doing these paintings. So for me, I generally work outward to the center from the outside in and somehow it completes something within me just by doing it. Nice. Thank you. Perfect. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> the sculptural work that I do is based upon the premise that child abuse should be talked about in public spaces. My work is about, uh, this is called Armor. It's a memory series. It has little children's drawings on it. It's an avenue for opening a, talk, uh, a conversation about child abuse. Uh, this is called a uh, storyteller. This is a storyteller. And in the back of, uh, like this one, the house is choking the poor person so they can't talk, which is one of the reasons that abuse occurs is because people don't talk about it, so it just keeps happening. So that's talking about trying to change that. And these ones, usually it's open in the back, so there are drawings and children's drawings in the back of the these storytellers. Well, this one has some little tiny ones, but this one isn't a very good example. There are, it's a lot less drawing and not as intense drawing. This is kind of a happy scene on this one. Most of my other ones are not very happy images. They're faces that are crying, uh, big black monster looking things. So, this one right here, this I call my house. It's basically exposing what is not normally exposed by looking into our interior. I think our body remembers everything on a cellular level. So we have all these places that we store trauma. Some people have neck problems, some people have back problems. That's where they store the trauma that's occurred in their life, I think. So this is talking about different things that might have occurred. Unfortunately, these little things, I had something for every shelf, but they've disappeared over time, so. Um, but it's basically just a, a female form that's been separated, is facing itself. I'm in a group called Allied Craftsmen here in town, 
and the founders of this group are in Allied Craftsmen, and so I heard about it through them. And I didn't, I didn't get a studio right at the beginning of the space, but about a year. They'd been in existence for about a year when I, when I decided to <clears throat> try and get a space here. And I really love working here. The energy in the space is really wonderful. It feels good to walk in this space. Um, the, I, the, the part I think is the best part for me is that they have open studios during openings. So people get to come in and look at my work. I get to talk about my work with people. I had been very isolated for quite a while in my own studio. I, get, I got tired of my own company, I suppose. I mean, doing art is a very personal and lonely thing. So it's really good to have people around for me because I would just stay in my little corner and never talk to anybody. So this really makes me interact with other artists or allow, and allows me to interact with other artists talk about things that I'm working on with others and see what they're working on, which can be very exciting. <clears throat>